everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. In this uh, shortest tutorial, I want to show you how you can create dynamic headings or, or dynamic text inside of your Power BI report. I think that this sort of these sort of ideas can add a lot of value um, to the visualizations that you are creating inside inside of Power BI. And you know, to do this in, in other tools is, is relatively difficult, you know, and, and it's it's not actually hard here. So you know, but basically I just want to I just want to quickly show you how it can be done based on anything. You can you can utilize any measure inside of um, you know inside of what you're doing uh, you know in terms of what you're trying to show here. Okay, it's um, it's it's certainly not uh, not too difficult difficult at all. Okay, so basically what what we're going to do here in this example. Um, this is just sort of working off a, a previous um, tutorial that uh, that I created. I want to show what was the highest month, highest sale month that we had based on any f date context that we placed here. So I just basically want, so, wait, want a heading that sort of says the highest sale month we had was this amount, say 4.834 million, okay? So what I've done, what I've done is I've first of all calculated that, ca that, okay? So basically what I'm doing here is I'm using an iterating function called maxx, and I'm working through every single, in this particular case, every single month and year in the particular, um, in our particular report. You could also, so I've got all selected, what you could also do is you could also use values here, which I use quite a bit. Um, I think that they, they, they both actually return exactly the same thing um, based on the, um, visualization that we're going to place this into. It totally depends on what context you put this into, but you could use all selected or values. Um, so basically what this is going to do is it's going to, when it when it is in a card, it's going to iterate through every single month and year in the current context. Okay, actually no, so this is actually, this would actually work through, no, it, does, it would, in the current context, because we've got a date filter here. Sorry, I'm just confusing myself. So we could, we could um, in the current context, um, it's going to work through every single month and it's going to work out the highest. It's going to work out what the revenue is for all those months and then the max X is going to do its work at the end and calculate the max month. Okay. So, for example, if I then bring this into, a, um, into here and I turn this into a card, you will see that this is 4.83 million, which is this particular one here. And if I change, say, change the time frame here, you'll see that this is now the highest. So this is 4.752. 4.752. So I could also change this um, this into the this and not have any um, not have any and have some good formatting on it. Cool. Okay. So if we move these around. You'll see that this um, this changes dynamically as well. So let's just change it again. So now this is the highest. So what basically I want some text now which says. Um, the, so we would we could have this in our report. We could say um, this is the current um, highest month in the in, in the particular context, right? Okay. So I'm going to create a new measure. I'm going to say um, um, highest highest month text, something like this. Okay. Then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write it out. I'm going to say okay. Um, the and this is this is how you can actually um, add um, add quite a lot of value to the insights you're showing, right? I'm going to say the um, uh, the highest sale month, uh, the highest actually, sorry, the highest sale month um, in the selected date context is. I'm going to go like this, and then um, I'm going to go and add my measure. I'm going to say um, highest revenue month. Highest revenue month. Okay, so you can you can reuse your measures inside of text fields, right? So I just go enter, and then I can bring this in here, turn this into a card, and you'll see now that I actually have um, that in a text. And now there's a few updates we probably want to make here. So what I can do, and these these you can do all of these now, which um, weren't wasn't always the case. So um, what do we? What I want to do here is I want to make this a little bit smaller. Actually, no, I don't want my category label, my data label to be a little bit smaller. Okay. Let's 
we can adjust this around a little bit like that. The other thing we probably want to do is we want to make sure we format this right because it's in a text field. So we want to go format and then go like this. Okay, and so now, and then you can have a play around. You can have a play around with um, with this particular field to make it look however you like. You can utilize it, you know, you could have this as a, like a pure header, like in your report, or you could just use it as sort of like text. And you could, again, it's dynamic, right? So if we change this round, see this number, this number is actually changing. Um, if I just change the fields here. So it is basically, it is changing based on the, um, date selection that you have here and say we actually selected one here then you have to recognize that this is actually now the context of this calculation um, and that's why it's updating um, it's updating as so so you need to make sure the text can um, take into account what a consumer might do um, you know in terms of the selections that they make and so we can also it's also dynamic so say for instance we put um, we put other selections on here Oh, what have we got here? Oh, I've got to unselect it, sorry. There we go. So we can actually dynamically um, select different uh, different states in this case, or any any sort of dimensions in your report and get different um, different results. Okay, so I think I think that's all I want to show you there. I just wanted to go do sort of a quicker video on this um, and just show you how it, you know, it's really, I'd have to say, not that difficult. You know, it's it's actually um, quite easy to implement these sort of things in your reports now. Um, you know, with all the all the features you have available to you, and you can you know you can change the text, you can change the color. You know, there's <coughs> lots of lots of great things that you can do now um, inside of these visualizations. Okay. If you enjoyed learning about this one, um, definitely throw the video a like, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Lots of great content coming out to you um, all the time. Okay, take care.